It seems I'm not supposed to go to Namibia, man. Wow, I'm traveling without a passport. And the document that I was given to be able to fly to Namibia, I left it in the house. I have to run. I have to run. Ah. Pilots and the flight attendants. They just go. Please. Please. Oh my god. I, I have like five minutes to check in. Let me be coming down. I'm a bit stressed, man. If I make it, I'm definitely gonna sleep. If I make it. Good morning, how are you all doing? Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful brand new day and I'm on my way to my favorite country in Africa. The second cleanest city in the whole of Africa. The country with the best roads in Africa. The country with the best coastline in Africa. The country that the ocean meet the dunes. The country that when I got there, I feel like I lost myself. And I can't wait to go back again. Which country is that? Namibia! <laughs> But it's rather unfortunate that I'm going to Namibia without a passport. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I'm just gonna try my luck. If I go to the airport and they tell me to go back to Ghana, I'll be sad. But you know what? I'm a very daring guy. And uh, I just wanna do this for the first time. Traveling without a passport. Leave a comment and let me know, have you ever traveled from one country to another without a passport? And what happened to your passport? What's the reason why you couldn't travel with your passport? My passport is not lost. My passport is stuck with the British High Commission. Because I told you guys that I'll be going to the UK, right? My passport is stuck with them. It's been so long, I've still not received the passport yet. I was supposed to go to Egypt for uh, COP27. I think most of you saw my post on Twitter. Some of you also watched my last video telling you guys that I'll be jetting off to Egypt the following day. But I couldn't make it because my passport is stuck with a British High Commission. And you know what I have to do? It's a contract that I signed somewhere in March to go back to Namibia. And the contract has to be fulfilled today. I've done all I can just to get my passport, but it did not happen. So I have to use another way. But that other way, if I succeed, I'll come in here and tell you the other way that I did to be able to fly to Namibia. So come along with me. Let's go to the airport. Wish me all the best. If you're from Namibia, leave a comment and let me know. Yeah. Please. Leave a comment, let me know which country you've been watching my videos from and which country is your favorite country in Africa and which country would you love to go back over and over again? I mean a country in Africa, yeah. Let's be interactive in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe and to be part of this awesome channel. Let's go to the airport. moment I thought everything was going on well and this happens. It seems I'm not supposed to go to Namibia man. Wow, I'm traveling without a passport and the document that I was given to be able to fly to Namibia, I left it in the house. I'm actually at the terminal 3 and I realized that I don't have the document. I left it on my table when I was going to pick my vaccination card. I have the vaccination card and I left the document in the house. Oh my goodness, I have like less than two hours to go. I need to figure out maybe how to go back and come back to the airport. Godamaya. Hi. I told you me and my team were coming to Ghana. You and your team? We were going to meet with you, Bread really? of Hope, the children, and we're going to 10 different African countries. Oh, you and the Vivian. Oh, how are you? Good to see you. I responded to you. No, I responded and a lot happened. A lot happened. Now I get to see. Now you are here. You're flying instead of driving. No, because we did the Abbey Coast 
border is closed, so yeah. we have to fly. To Ivory Coast. We're doing the slums in Ghana today, then going to Abidjan tomorrow. So what have you done in Ghana so far? Uh, so we're going to Mom, Nima, Nima. Um, to feed the children, wow. 100 children. Then uh, pay school fees for some of them, then we'll go to Abidjan to do the same thing. We've gone to Togo, we did um, uh, Bene, mm. um, and then Nigeria, and then we're going to Guinea, Gambia, Senegal. Senegal, well, ending in Senegal and turning around. Should I say that's a very noble <laughs> of you, and all the best. Good to see you, I finally <laughs> get to meet you. <laughs> yeah, even though I'm going through a lot, I still need to smile when I see my subscribers. Anyway, let me find a way to get those documents here before I miss this flight. Bye. Yo. I don't know what's going on and I don't know what's happening. I couldn't go back home, so what I did was uh, I booked a ride, which is a motor rider. So the motor rider is coming. I have less than 15 minutes to check in. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I'm really not ready for whatever is going on. I've been going through a lot of stuff lately. But whenever you pray, pray for me. I need it. The guy is coming. Oh my goodness. He said he's on his way. Please. <laughs> God, I, I have like five minutes to check in. Ah, what is going on, man? What is going on, God? Ah, okay, let me be coming down. I'm a bit stressed, man. If I make it, I'm definitely gonna sleep. If I make it, whoo. It's not showing up. Five minutes, and you know, like my document, too. They need to check the document before I fly. So I don't even, yeah, big man. Uh huh. Ah, you didn't walk? Wow. So you, you, you did Uh huh. So where are you there? In the top, with the left. Okay, with the left. So you go come from here. All right. Okay. The guys. All right. All right. Jeez, man. So they didn't allow him to come up with his motorbike. So he's coming from the elevator. Just, just, just hope. Ah, he's definitely gonna come from here. What's going on? Big man, you come up already? Ah, you use another elevator or something? Wh who, what do you see? Yeah, okay, just stand there, come in. I have to run. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. This is the guy. He finally brought my document, man. Say bye-bye to them. All right. I made it. And they finally accepted the travel document. Thank you. I don't want your documentation. 
I mean, this is going to be the first time I'm traveling without a passport. And I hope I arrive safely. So you have to confirm with this letter from the airline, right? No, we sent um, a copy of your PC okay. to the shipping airline. As for that, they received a message like this. Okay. And they confirm. That they have, right? Yes. Right. Thank you so much, it's Open Airlines, for coming through for me this time. I appreciate you. The best airline in the whole world. The world is smiling. Hi. This is Madamara. Yeah. I need you. You need me? Yes. Tell him something. I'm late, eh? I, yeah. Matty, yeah, just tell him something. We love you. We love, love you. you. Zero. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Continue on. Thank you. Yo, I just got my boarding pass. Um, Pray for me, let me cross the immigration and I'm gonna get back to you guys, man. This is what the Maya. Thank you. Okay, also on him. Mr. Mitchell. That's what I can Oh, sorry. Yeah. Minister will be kept with joining us in chat. Hey, 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 I was scared of the immigration, but immigration was the easiest part of it all. When the immigration officer told me, he's like, What am I? Thank you so much for what you're doing for Ghana and Africa. We're so proud of you. Where are you going? I said, I'm going to Namibia. So, where's your passport? I said, I don't have a passport. I'm traveling to TCL. So, bring it. Stamp. Yeah! Whoa. You know what? I'm just super excited, but I'm still not done. Let me get to Addis Ababa. If I'll be able to fly from Addis to Namibia, then I'm gonna smile more with you all. I finally made it. Yo. Morning right now. Come along with me. Let's go to Namibia. Oh my goodness, after all the struggles, I made it to Addis Ababa. Thank you so much for your prayers, man. I made it. And uh, it's time to go check in my hotel. And I was even scared because here you need to also do a bit of check-in before you go check in your hotel. And then when I got there, I gave them the TCL and they were like, where's your passport? I'm like, I don't have a passport. They look at my face and said, carry on. <laughs> I think I'm almost done, halfway through. I mean, stick and stay with me. I'm just gonna go spend a night, sleep well, and then come and continue the struggle tomorrow so we get to Namibia. I'm so excited, man. I can't wait to be in Namibia once again. I just wanna ask you, have you liked the video? Please, like the video now. Thank you. Yo, good morning from Addis Ababa. This is the hotel that I slept called the uh, Washington Hotel. And right opposite is a Foy Hotel. Oh my goodness, this hotel gives me a lot of memories. This is the exact same hotel that I spent my first night with Trudy. I mean, this is where we met after we met at the airport. This was exactly the same hotel, man. Oh my goodness. And Dr. Mumbi, all of us, we met right over here. Oh my goodness. I don't know if someone is in there. The bus is leaving, but hi. How are you? You're good? This is a Foy Hotel, right? A pizza. Okay, alright. Good.
cause this? No, it's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm I just, so happy. No, she was so happy to see me and she cries the phone. I know. But right? you know what? I'm so sorry. I'm taking care of it. As soon as you tie down in the um, salon, yeah, someone will really call on. you. Yeah. Salon. Yeah. Salon. I mean, salon. it's a bit Tokyo. It's a bit Tokyo. <laughs> salon begins. Salon begins. As soon as you tie down in uh, salon, someone will take the phone and fix no it for you. Okay. Okay, your message for Africans? Be positive, be free and be happy and give unto others more than how you want people Okay, I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> No, oh my god I, don't... I can just be positive and work hard and pray hard and all your dreams will come true Hey, she's a medical doctor, Peace. yeah? I was expecting some medical terms, yeah? Oh, no. Take care of yourself and but now she said, be positive. Oh, yes. That's very important. My brother, very you're going to Namibia? Yes, yes, I'm going to You're Namibia. going together, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no. I decided she... to go back. Yeah. She... I decided to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're excited! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. See, I couldn't understand a Namibian accent, but it's okay. But anyway... No, come on! I, I love I love the rawness. That's it. Alright, so when you go back to Salon, say hello to everyone for me. I mean, greet them in Creole. Hello, sister from Salon. You could, sister. Regina, Regina Davis, Dr. Regina Davis, yeah? Okay. Okay. All right, C4, yeah? I'm yeah, going to C4. I'm going yeah. to A6. Peace. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe that I'm almost there because when I land in Namibia, I'm not gonna have any problem because um, I was invited by the Namibian Tourism Board, which is um, the Namibian government. So, the how do I call it? The immigration knows that I'm coming, yeah. So I don't have a problem with that. I was, all, all, I was just worried about um, the transit in Ethiopia, which the Ethiopian airline took care of it. So I just want to say thank you all so much for making this a reality. I mean, traveling for the first time without a passport, I never dreamed of this day because, you know. Prior to uh, this trip, I called so many people asking them, can I travel without a passport? And everybody said no. And on Friday, I felt like, you know what? I need to use my network to travel without a passport for the first time. And I did just that. And I got all the documents that I'm supposed to get to travel in a day via emails, phone calls. And yeah, don't let me be so excited. <laughs> I'm not in the plane to Namibia yet. So you, you guys should just hold on. When I get into the plane that is going to Namibia, I'll come back and we all share the good news together. I'm so excited. I'm going to Namibia once again. So special. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Guys, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. I thought I would not make it, but thank God I made it. We were so worried about the show. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm here, yeah? It was actually nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, these guys made it possible. Oh, oh. I travel without a passport today. <laughs> I'm here successfully. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. 
We've met already. No shot. Good to see you again. No shot. <laughs> we know each other. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we two operators. Yeah. Really? People are all over the same. Can I get it? Yeah, it's she kept it. One more time. It's you. Make my media fire. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best welcome address. Never knew that even the videos that I did the last time made a huge impact for a tall guy to tell me that so many people were coming to him just because of my videos. That was a good feeling. Let me know, did you ever visit Namibia because of my last video? Are you planning to visit Namibia because of my last videos that I did in this country? But hey, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Can you guys believe that I travel without a passport? I mean, I couldn't believe it myself, but I, this is what I wish Africa would be. Africa is moving from one African country to another without a passport. I mean, it was scary, but I did it. But I did this just because of three entities. First of all, I wanna give a big shout out to the Namibian Tourism Board, especially Miss Paula. I think she represents the story of never give up because I gave up, you know, personally, I gave up. She made it possible. Secondly, Ethiopian Airlines, because yeah, I had to use a career and Ethiopian Airlines made it possible. And the last one will be the what the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ghana. You know, when everything said and done, I needed a particular document that will enable me to move one country to another without a passport. And they gave me TC. TC is something that actually exists if you're a traveler, if you lost your passport, you can actually use a TC to travel, but it's not guaranteed that the country that you're gonna be arriving in will accept you. So yeah, if you wanna travel from one country to another, go to your Ministry of Foreign Affairs and ask them if they have what we call TC. It's more like a traveling certificate that will enable you to travel from one country to another. Thank you so much to everyone who made this possible. Thank you so much to Namibia. Thank you so much to each and everyone watching this video right now. I know you all are smiling, yeah? It's December, new video every day. So please do me a favor, like this video, turn on your post notifications so that anytime we upload, you will get a video. Listen. More videos are coming from Namibia and I know and believe that you all will enjoy it. My name is Watermeyer and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.